This is YouTube News. Brexit delay to be decided at EU summit. European leaders will decide on Wednesday whether to grant the UK another extension to its departure from the bloc, due to take place on Friday, April 12. The EU's 28 leaders, including British Prime Minister Theresa May, are heading to Brussels for an emergency summit dedicated to Brexit. This after May asked the bloc for a second delay to the U.K.'s departure. The summit begins at 1700 hours London time, and May will formally present her case for requesting a short delay to Brexit until June 30, asking for the option to leave if a deal is agreed by the UK Parliament before then. It's widely expected that the UK will be granted a longer, flexible extension with conditions attached, however, according to an invitation letter sent to EU leaders by European Council President Donald Tusk on Tuesday. I believe we should also discuss an alternative, longer extension. One possibility would be a flexible extension, which would last only as long as necessary and no longer than one year, Tusk said in his letter. He called for a longer delay to avoid the risk of a rolling series of short extensions and emergency summits, creating new cliff-edge dates. Conditions that the UK could have to abide by, Tusk noted, would include no reopening of negotiations over the withdrawal agreement the Brexit deal on offer. The UK could leave earlier than a newly agreed departure date if a deal is in place and Tusk reiterated that the UK could revoke Article 50, the departure process, at any time. A draft EU document circulated to diplomats ahead of the emergency meeting of EU leaders proposes an extension, but leaves the date blank. German Finance Minister Olaf Scholz told CNBC Tuesday that Germany is well prepared for an agreement or a Brexit without an agreement, but it would be better to have something that is with a deal, he told CNBC's Annette Weisbach Tuesday. Scholz welcomed talks between May and opposition Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn and said the main thing now is to get an agreement in Parliament. I'm still a big fan of the tradition of pragmatism in Great Britain, and I'm sure that this tradition will be a basis for a solution. The U.K. S request for an extension comes after a prolonged period of disarray in British politics over Brexit with Brexiters and Remainers, still sorely divided over the departure. A majority of British lawmakers rejected May's Brexit deal three times and failed to find a majority in support of alternative options, but also rejected a departure without a deal. May has been holding cross-party talks in the hope that a compromise can be found over the deal. Although there has been some reluctance among certain EU members, notably France, to grant the UK more time, with concerns the UK would have to take part in EU parliamentary elections in late May, but as a departing member could disrupt the EU's decision-making processes. Nonetheless, there is a recognition that a no-deal departure, the now infamous cliff-edge scenario where there is no post-EU transition period, would be economically and politically disruptive for both the UK and its counterparts across the channel. Tusk's invitation letter came after May travelled to Berlin and Paris Tuesday for talks with the German and French leaders in a bid to secure, backing for a second delay to Brexit. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said a delay until the start of 2020 was a possibility. Meanwhile, Downing Street said in a statement that May had sought to reassure French President Emmanuel Macron that the UK government was working very hard to avoid the need for the UK to take part in EU parliamentary elections. YouTube News